Welcome to Random Bits of Randomness. This time it actually is on Random Bits of Randomness because this episode is there. We are doing dumb laws. We asked people at our Discord to vote on what law they wanted, and the people have spoken, all three of them. Uh, we are doing Idaho this time. If you guys want to have your voices heard, come to our Discord. If you suggest a state, that puts that will make it more likely to show up on the poll, and then we will do the poll and whatever people vote for. That is what we're doing this time. It's Idaho, so I'm excited Idaho. to see Idaho, Idaho, Utah. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see where this goes, where this hoe yeah, goes. Me too, me too. Are you guys are you guys ready for your history lesson? <laughs> we we've done a lot of a lot of just preparation for this you know going through all the facts double checking our facts making sure that we're not like giving false information diving deep into sources that yes. like no one's heard of before and like all sources are cited down below you can check them out in the description while you're down there make sure you hit subscribe like these are like we we are preaching facts we are your school teachers we are your landlords or something well no people hate landlords now that's not cool that's not cool we're not landlords <laughs> um but no um also, I want to clarify something. People have a huge misunderstanding of the series. Yes, it's called Dumb Laws, but that's because we find websites that, exp that say, hey, there's dumb laws in that state, and then they give these laws, right? Mm -hmm. We are here to explain why these laws exist. We don't think they are dumb. We think that these are, like, some of the most important laws on the books. Because last time, someone was like, well, that law's not dumb. We're like, no, I agree with you, and I'm glad that you're one with us, and you can see the importance of these laws and so if that's how, if that's you then just realize that you are amongst the upper percentile but most people the they, can't, they can't see the underwriting behind these laws and they just think they're dumb um yeah. also kind of funny that we were talking about hoes because the first one's about bicycles all right what is it if you know that reference no i don't it's a old your mom joke your yeah, mom's a town bicycle Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, John, it is illegal for a bicycle or other wheeled apparatuses, apparati, I'm not sure, to be used in tennis courts. In tennis courts? Yes. Why is that illegal, John? Why is that illegal? Are you, you're asking me why is it illegal? I think this would be pretty obvious, okay? Okay, okay. In 2023, just a year ago, mm -hmm. um, there was a, the big tennis match that we all knew about. It was broadcasted everywhere and everything, and like it, bars were playing it, pools were playing it, it mm -hmm. kindergarten teachers had it on. You know, like I every single screen. If there was a screen, um, hackers actually hacked into every single screen to make it play it in the whole planet. Yeah, I was actually so, really annoyed because I was like trying to play roblox and my phone yeah. turned on to tennis and then my computer did and i was just like i don't know you're, you're you were probably trying to play tennis and roblox weren't you i i was and yeah. it was really annoying because i couldn't play tennis and so i had to watch tennis instead and i have three computer yeah. screens like i've got three monitors on my computer and all three of them were playing the exact same tennis match i mean yeah no it's super annoying but you do you you we all know this happened, but do you know why it happened? Like, why did suddenly all of these screens just suddenly start playing tennis? Why 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 are they playing tennis? Well, I've got a feeling it's bicycle related, but I don't know why it happened. Yeah, are you psychic? <laughs> Maybe there's, a little there's, bit. There's a person named Yan San, and Yan San, um, an American, by the way. He, I thought I should clarify just in case. <laughs> He was the age of 14 um, mm -hmm. one time in his life, and he was playing tennis with a friend, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And all of a sudden, um, his opponent gets so mad because he's losing that he goes and he looks around and notices his bike that he rode there to the match. Um, so he hops on his bike. And Isaac, how fast do you move on a bike? Faster than running. Faster than running. Exactly. Uh -huh. So because he was on a bike, he was suddenly able to go back and forth, back and forth, because that's how bikes work in the court, in the in the court with the racket. So he goes, tum, 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 tum. and see. suddenly Jansson started just 
he got pelted left and right from all of the mm -hmm. balls hitting his face. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and, uh. and and so he got so mad. He took it up to the referee, and the referee looked at the rule book, looked at the laws, and was like, "I'm sorry, Yansan. There's nothing that says that this is not allowed. There's nothing that says that this is not allowed." So he got so mad that ten years later, 2023, he. He wanted to ruin tennis for everyone. He wanted to make it the most miserable sport ever. So mm -hmm. he just he started hacking into every single screen and just playing it everywhere. That's why we saw it everywhere. That's why I hate tennis now. Because it was like we had a whole 24 hours of just watching tennis. Okay, now that's a little now too I, never want to... I don't know if hate, hate's a strong word. But you can really, okay, really I, not like it. I, I really, 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 really <laughs> don't like it. I think it could go to hell. But I, I don't hate it. Okay. And so... Anyways, you know, just naturally, and oh, and just for clarification, this was all happening in Idaho. Mm -hmm. um, so the the Idaho government was like, okay, we don't want to be the cause of a whole global pandemic like this again from Yansan. So they just had to put it in no apri, no bicycles, nothing like that. Oh, wow. You still could do it in like 49 other states. And um, a few hundred other countries. And a few hundred other, well, I mean, America's the world. It's like, we all oh, know. okay. I mean, that's and, true. well, well, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'll accept that. So, anyways, moral of the story is don't piss off Yansan. I'll accept that for about 42 more episodes. <laughs> what? I'll accept that in America's the world for about 42 uh, more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next one? <laughs> the next one is, it is illegal to not smile in public. Do not smile? You have yeah. to. <laughs> you have to always be smiling in public. How, how going? There's a Doctor Who series my, episode about that my, where the people got my killed. My dog somewhere. just died. My dog just died. <laughs> I, I accidentally ran him over and and my mom got cancer. <laughs> Well, you see, Yan San, being the technical genius that he was, oh, right? Oh, no, not Yan San. Man, I thought I knew everything about him. He was really, really upset when his um, video caused the problems and made his play style of tennis illegal. Because he, like, right. really got into that bicycle tennis, and it was illegal in Idaho, and he was not going to leave Idaho. And... He was also really upset that a lot of people were complaining about the, you know, screen takeovers. Yeah. And yeah. so, I mean, I mean, understand from his perspective. I mean, why would other people be mad about that? Like, like I totally get where he's yes. coming from. And so, with AI now, this is in two thousand twenty-three. So AI is also like really growing at this point, right? Right. And so, with the advancement of AI, and also the government's seeking or the governor seeking approval ratings and whatnot. He got into the governor's ear that, hey, it would actually help you. If everyone's happy in the state, why would people vote against you if you're actually making everyone happier? And what's the biggest That's sign of point. happiness? Smiling. So if you make it illegal not to smile, it'll make everyone happy. Um, that's was, true. That's true. So that's where that law came about. Now, there was also this, like, robots and stuff that ended up watching for it and like some people got disintegrated because they stopped smiling or maybe i'm getting that mixed up with the doctor who show but uh, I, saw, I saw i saw smile too recently that horror movie it was actually a really I good horror movie i haven't seen smile too i wonder if it was based in idaho it probably was based off this event i mean yeah. a lot of documentaries have come out because of these events yes smile too is a documentary <laughs> for clarification so i want to make it clear yeah. same as smile one <laughs> Um, yeah, no, Smile 1 is fiction. Smile 2 is the document. <laughs> <laughs> Smile 1 was based off of Smile 2. Smile yes. 2 was based off of Idaho. Exactly. And so it's like, it's like the, okay, maybe fiction's a bad word. It's like, based off of real events, that, that was 1. 2 was actually a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next one is, it's illegal for snakes to bite humans. On Sundays, except when it's snowing. 
okay, so if it's snowing on a Sunday, they could bite me. No yes. worry. I'm yes. okay with that. That's fine. You know, it's it's snowing. I don't. No, if there's snow on the ground, it doesn't matter. They, they still can't. But if it's snowing, they can't. If it's actively yeah. snowing. Yes. Okay, Isaac. What's what's a snake's worst fear? Um, humans. Exactly, humans. Um, but that's not always been the case. Um, yeah, before humans. Before humans, it was monkeys, and before monkeys, it was <laughs> fish, and before fish, <laughs> snakes were scared of the dinosaurs, and before dinosaurs, snakes were amoeba. scared of <laughs> scares. Uh, snakes were scared of the amoeba. But you know, <sighs> see, snakes... little do people know, snakes have always been here. That's why there are reptilian overlords. They... But they they have Isaac. Haven't haven't you read Genesis? The snake the snake's always been around. Yeah, uh huh. It's yeah. always been around. I thought it was smart enough to trick the first humans. The first humans, exactly. And speaking of tricking the first humans, this is where it all began. Back in 1957, in, in a beginning. lonely town, in the beginning, <laughs> 1957, in a lonely town called Winchester, Idaho. They probably have a Winchester over there. Winchester, Idaho. <laughs> If they do, if they don't anymore, it's because of this story. In Winchester, Idaho, they had a snake problem. Hundreds of snakes, thousands of snakes, but these are not your normal snakes. These are these are Genesis snakes. You know, uh -huh. these are snakes that like talk with you. Yeah, that these try are the to reptilian overlords that we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They they're trying to get you to eat apples. That's what these snakes are trying to do. Yeah. These aren't your snakes that are biting you just for fun. These want you to eat apples. Yeah, and you know the so, problem if you eat apples, John. Really fast, I just have to interject here. <laughs> What's the problem if I need apples? You can't go to the doctor because they keep doctors away. And then if you're sick, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> that's a really <laughs> good point. That's, a, that's actually that's actually where what I'm getting at. Okay. Believe it or not, <laughs> I'm getting there. So uh, thank you for interrupting me. Um, so I didn't mean snakes... to interrupt you. I didn't realize that's where you were going with this. Yeah, that's, that's where I was going with this. <laughs> So these snakes are really good businessmen. They've had, like, thousands of years of practice. I yeah. mean, from the beginning, they were so good. Only two humans, and they convinced 50% of them. Like, yeah, no, this, this is the beginning, they're good salesmen. So yeah, they these got snakes... to 50% to convince the other 50%. <laughs> exactly. These snakes, they're slithering across with their trench coats. They open up. There's just lines of apples. We have juicy ones. We have crisp ones, green ones, red ones, yellow ones, fresh ones, old moldy ones. You, you name it. You want an apple? They got you. They I'm have all they have those different old moldy ones. <laughs> I know those are your favorite type uh, of uh, Yeah, I mean, crap. I, am I admitting this on live YouTube? Crap. Oh, this is embarrassing for you. So these snakes in Winchester, Idaho, went to a bunch of doors just knocking, like, knock, knock, knock. Hello, um, it is me, Elder Snake, and I'd like to preach to you about apples. And so they start having this conversation, and, and they'd invite the snakes in. But as soon as they invite the snakes in, they buy an apple from the snake, and then mm -hmm. they can't see a doctor anymore, and they die. Not because of the snake. Just, I want to make this clear. The snake did not actually kill them. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that they couldn't get to the doctors killed them. I just want to make that clear. Okay. And so so, so this is a lot of buildup. But to answer the question of why snakes aren't allowed to bite you or in your, be in your house. Bite you. Bite you. Except... Uh, on Sundays, ex unless it's snowing. On Sundays, unless it's snowing. Okay, so what day is Sunday? It's the Lord's Day. It's the Holy Day. It's the only day that the snake reptilian overlords are able to come out of their shell. Uh, after Sunday and before Sunday, they just go back to slithering like snakes again because they got cursed, you know? And that's what that's what the curse is really about. But on Sundays, for some odd reason, the Lord's Day, they get to be able to walk around and try to bribe people. And so the government quickly realized, oh, shoot, you know, these snakes is not good for... Our business they're only thinking about the doctors they don't care about the people dying this is government mm -hmm. we're talking about so they they quickly were like okay okay no no going into the people's houses just no biting them i don't know why i keep saying houses no biting the people mm -hmm. um which so the snakes were like okay fine fine we will we'll hold back we won't do it but but when it snows <laughs> We want to be able to bite people. And the government's like, why? Why when it snows? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, down laws. 
And the snakes were like, we know how to make a special white powder, but it needs to be actively snowing and we need fresh human blood. And the the, the government was like, oh, shoot. That's the only way that the special white powder is made? They had no idea. They had no idea. So they're, they're like, okay, fine. Can't bite people on Sunday, except for when it's snowing. And it has to be on Sunday still. Uh, Sundays because, you know, that's the only time that they are there. Yeah, human they're able to, yeah, they're, they're, they're able to, yeah. So, long story short, short, the government is corrupt because of this white powder. Little did the government know that's not actually how it's made. The snakes were just, you know, they they are good salesmen. Yeah, no, they're amazing salesmen. I mean, I've been eating mold. I mean, apples for a long time now. <laughs> um. I I do have to say something on that I feel like called out, but I can't remember why there was like something you said earlier that I wanted to comment on, and I'm really upset that I can't remember <laughs> it now. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to have to think for a second. Let him think. Let the power of Jesus be inside of him. Oh, yes. I remember now. Um, can I have you... Um, I've got a court case coming up, okay? And I, I really could use a... Um, testimony from like a third party that's like non-biased i've got to convince them that it's actually the doctor's fault that this person died even though they were stabbed but they didn't get couldn't get to the doctor because the doors were all locked from the outside and when it unlocked from the inside um it, i'm trying to explain that it's the doctor's fault for not healing them it's not it's not the person who stabbed them be it me or someone else i don't i mean oh, I can't. obviously okay look look it's pretty simple i stab a person that uh -huh. person is not dead. That exactly. person is still alive. That's what I'm so trying to. Heartbeat. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he pulls the knife out. He goes away. This guy's bleeding now. He's dying, but he's not. He's not. He's not dead. He won't be dead because of the knife wound. He's dying because he's bleeding out right now. So it's the At doctor's the moment, and the paramedics' fault, right? Yeah, exactly. Because now there's some things that can happen. He could either a die and he dies from bleeding out, not from the stab, but dies just from bleeding out, mm -hmm. or he could go to a hospital where they could fix him. So he goes to the hospital, and it's closed. Yeah. Well, that means the hospital did not save him. The hospital had the ability to save him. We all know hospitals can save people, so they have the ability to save them, but and they, they don't. don't. Yeah. So does that does that mean I can put you down for a yes on that court date? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna win it. <laughs> cool. Who's just uh, <laughs> um, uh, No one, no one. It's a, it's alleged. Um, alleged. I see. I see. There's many people who probably should be in that category, but I will not go over them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is before I incriminate myself too much. Lawyers must not charge a widow a fee for moving their piano from one room to another. <laughs> their own widow their widow specifically so you know, step one you have to be um wait no wait. it's not their widow it's not charge widows a fee so oh, any okay. widow. widow they can't charge okay, any widows a fee for moving the piano from one room to another you know how often um lawyers move pianos too so this must be a serious yes. i mean when i think of like hiring someone to move objects around Specifically pianos, too, but other it, stuff, too. It's a lawyer. Like, let's be uh, honest. Every time. You're going to hire, like, the mover to move everything except the piano, but you're going to hire mm. the lawyer to move that piano, right? Well, it's because the pianos, they just, like, really argue with you all the time moving them. And you just, like, you yeah. really need someone to defend yourself while moving it. So, like, they're just the best person to have the whole case and everything with the pianos. Exactly. Uh, anyway, so there was this big problem of, okay, let's go back to reality now, okay? So lawyers were, um, taking care of wills and, like, taking care of all these things for widows and people, you know, their husband died and whatnot, and first thing all these widows wanted to do after their husband died would be remodel their house, rearrange things, move furniture around and whatnot, okay? Mm -hmm. And... Um, who better to do that than the same person that's reading the will and, you know, just taking right, care of yeah, all these exactly, things? Exactly, exactly. Because he's already building that relationship with the widow that she needs on the trying time. With, you know, that that's the man who's building that comforting relationship with that widow in that moment. I feel like there's something to be said about this, but I and, might have saw this video on some site somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so he would 
end up coming to the house, and he'd actually move everything around for her. Like, and you know, she'd be like that, move it, you know, an inch over to there. Oh no, to the right a little, to the left a little, all that right. And mm-hmm. it got to the point where the, the ladies were being taken advantage of. They didn't realize because they just needed companionship. And these lawyers were charging their exorbitant fees of $400 an hour. And these women who could not make up their minds on if things were a little to the right or a little to the left. (laughs) And it just took hours and hours. And it was eating up all of the estates that the husband left behind. And these widows were left destitute. Not because, like, some of them had millionaire husbands who left them millions of dollars and all went to the lawyers. And it it became a problem. But you know the biggest time con- like time sync of this was i have a feeling it might be a piano but my I gosh are you psychic it. too <laughs> we're, <laughs> wow we're on like same brainwaves here um yeah no it was the pianos like the pianos because they have wheels on the bottom and you know they're always like move it to the right move it to the left they also they're old they're widows they're senile they would also like raise it a little bit because they're so used to talking about pictures and stuff you can't raise a piano and so you go under and like uh, Exactly, and like, or like, they would be like, "Okay, let's put some cardboard there," and they'd have to put cardboard and move it off and on. And it would take so much longer because of building ramps and stuff. And it got to the point where these pianos to move them would cost, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And wait, wait, wait! I just want to, I just want to clarify. So, how much were they being charged? Like four hundred an hour, you said? Um, four hundred an hour on the low end, about seven hundred on the high end. So let's just say five hundred for okay. conservative sake, and yeah. let's say a hundred thousand a day we're spending on average. You said hundred. You said hundreds. Yeah, somewhere hundreds. Thousands. Now that's probably the high end. So yeah, we can probably say right. so hundred. Let's say hundred thousand. That's that's two hundred hours, or about you know just eight days of just constant, like not even sleeping, eating, breathing, like just eight days of. So the American works work week. Move, yeah, the the American work week. Yeah, move it to the right. Move it yeah. to the left. Oh, down that that's torture man but the the lawyer must have like what one week of that and he set for the whole year uh, yeah i mean only one year off of, off of that but yes yeah. um and so it became a problem and the government knew that these lawyers were taking advantage of these senile women and he, they ended up passing this law they're like hey you know what we were gonna they were gonna block you know lawyers cannot charge for moving things because they wanted that to be the moving companies which charge much lower rates and are professionals at it and lobbying they know how to move it to the right adam the lawyers are not when when a woman says a little to the right the lawyer is gonna just move it a little to the right but the moving company knows precisely how much to the left she actually wants it (laughs) and so um anyways yeah so they lobby the government and they ended up settling on okay at least the pianos you can't do you have to hire a moving company for that one and because that was the biggest one so that's that's where that came right from. honestly that makes a lot of sense i i wouldn't hire uh if i was a widow i wouldn't hire a lawyer to do that um because i don't want to be broke so i'm i'm thankful for that law yeah but i mean back then you just didn't know because they were yeah they were in cahoots with the snakes. They were good salespeople, and they would sell the lawyer services to the woman. And, Dang, and maybe, we all know maybe all the lawyers are snakes. Back in Genesis, what gender did the snakes sell the apple to? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting canceled for this one. <laughs> What's the next one, Isaac? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. Children under the age of 15 must have a certificate signed by their parents to testify that they are regularly brushing their teeth. Facts. Preach. Okay, Isaac. 49 states. That's mm-hmm. a lot of states. That's like 49 out of 50% of the whole world. Like... Yeah, that's like you know, forty nine states. You go to any other state, and that's like Great Britain out there, man. You go, you're just walking around, and you're like, 
lovely day in it and be and you like a tea and then suddenly all of the teeth are just kind of like all broken apart and yellow and yellow and crooked yeah no it's horrible I, as a texan i just say i i can't wait till i move closer to idaho mm -hmm. it's like it's like a radius it's like a sphere yes. it, like the center of um idaho the teeth are so white you actually can't look at them or else you'll die oh uh, you won't die you'll just be blind Right, exactly. It's like a ring going outwards. The yes. edge states around Idaho, they like right next to it. The cities around it have barely like white teeth, and then it mm -hmm. quickly falls apart after that. I don't even want to talk about New York and the East Coast, man. It's really bad out there. But anyways, um, this all started because of Isaac. Which state shows the teeth the most? Idaho. Exactly. Why? Because it's the law. You have to smile. You have oh, to smile. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that law. You are correct. It's, I, I it's mean... the law. You have to smile. So back in the day, you know, back in the old Great Britain time at a time period in America, everyone was just crooked teeth bad across the whole state. And so as soon as Idaho was like, okay, everyone, you got to smile. That's it was embarrassing bad. Facebook days. <laughs> It was really bad. It was really bad. Everyone started going, see, like, just imagine just crooked teeth everywhere. Instead of like, the, the president was just like, you're right, Yansan. This will make everyone just happy because my makes me happy. But what really happened, mm -hmm. this is what really happened. As okay. soon as everyone started smiling, everyone started just getting super depressed because they realized how just ugly everyone was, how bad everyone's teeth was, how early we're all going to die. And it was just a disaster. And the president was like, Yansan, what the heck? Why oh, what, Why would you tell me to do this? It's the worst thing. So they executed him. They put him on death row and he died the next day. Oh, Anyways, wow. so then. I, that's, that's harsh, but I mean, it's justified. It's, so. Well, it's because a politician was about to lose. Like, mm -hmm. Justice had to be served. Exactly. Um, no, I mean, I agree. I, yeah. If you expose my teeth, I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's only one answer to that. So the pre uh, the the president of a state. What is that called? What position governor? is that? The mayor? governor is that what? One Mayors of a city. Yeah, governor then. Governor, right? The governor <laughs> of the we state. We're so into politics, guys. <laughs> the governor, or to become governor because he's re-electing himself um he was like okay i have to quickly fix this so he started just trying to figure out the problem he was like why do teeth go bad like like no one knew why at this time period back mm -hmm. in the days of 2005 it was just kind of like a chaotic time no one brushed their teeth no one floss no one used mouthwash it didn't exist yet so he's like he's uh he put the best minds in the whole planet uh, which happens to be everyone from Idaho, on to this yeah. project of figuring sounds, sounds out... Right, right. right, exactly. Figuring out why do people have bad teeth? So they started going through every single reason. Um, one of the things that they did conclude, uh, I just want to point out, this is they found this out, but they quickly didn't publish it because they realized it could cause a lot of problems. But mm -hmm. um, that special white powder snow thing that the snakes were talking about was yeah. really bad for teeth. Like, crazy bad. Everyone was doing it, but, like, was turns really? out that's really bad for teeth. Yeah, turns out. That I know, was you insane. Probably didn't know. I thought it only affected your nasal cavities. Yeah, right, exactly. But nope, really bad for teeth. Crazy bad. So... But the problem is that they're not going to change that. They have an agreement with the snakes. They And, and plus, mm -hmm. the government likes it too much. So it's like, okay, fine. We'll make it illegal. You can't use that white powder anymore. But, like, obviously, the government's still in cahoots with the snakes and such. So they're still getting that in loads amount and everything. The government's still doing it, but the people, citizens can't. Um, oh, what's funny honest, about this? Citizens are still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I'm not saying they can't. I mean, they, they aren't able... I'm saying it's illegal. That's yes. when they passed okay. the whole like law of it being illegal. Yeah, that's when D.A.R.E. started and whatnot. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. D.A.R.E. came up from the snake... I don't know, from the, the people not brushing their... I mean, the, the bad teeth. Yes. Um. So anyway, so that was one of the things. They didn't really say that to the public because they didn't want people to realize that. Um. So they just made up some reasons. They're like... Mm, uh, take this bristle right here and just rub your teeth really hard. They're like, uh, look at this string right here. Just go through each one of these holes and just go. Through. 
hey, you see this blue liquid right here? Just go. <laughs> so they're like, just, just do that and it will fix it. So they all started doing it. Their teeth started getting bitter. But what really happened is the government took away all of their special white snow. And that's the real reason why their teeth started shining so white because they weren't doing it anymore. The rest of the world, the rest of the world, the other 49 states, mm -hmm. We're still using it every single day, you know? Because, we still like, brush teeth, and we think that's what's going to fix it. Because we're like, Idaho brushes teeth. We don't understand the whole reason. I, yeah, but exactly. But it's because we're still using the white snow. I feel I feel so lied to, guys. Yeah, I know. I, I, when I was doing research for this, it really hurt me. It really hurt. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life now. Exactly. Anyways, uh, the age 15 or whatever isn't really that important, but... They just want to start at young. They just want to, like, you know, at a young age. That's when you're impressionable. Just start brushing teeth and everything. So they start... That's the motion I should be making on screen. And so... And so... Like, anyways... I think you get the idea. Yep, it's no, we're good. Um, the next one is... A boy may only court a girl after obtaining written permission from her father. Amen. Hallelujah. I wish that was in my state. <laughs> I know. If only I had to get written permission from... Let me just my tell you. father-in-law. Let me just tell you, my last relationship would have ended a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that aside, um, <clears throat> you know why this is a law, John? I don't, Isaac. I, I've been trying to think in my head, but I don't know why. So... We all know that God warned us about snakes. That's why, you know, Genesis, all that, right? Yeah. And we all know that I'm going to go full into the, what I've been doing earlier. Men are the matriarch of the, or patriarch of the house. And they're like the most Obviously. important. They, Preach. I mean, they, they've got full control of their mm -hmm. daughter's life and whatnot and so mm -hmm. let's just say um stupid liberals try to take that away from us i idaho has the right idea when they're like you know what you've got to get that man's permission before you, you can actually date the lady because she is i mean she's willing to pay someone hundreds of thousands of dollars to move a piano is she really smart enough to pick a good spouse man not really like i am walking a thin line you know but not really <laughs> i know i am too um uh, i'm not gonna say slash s but <laughs> but but there's sure a slash somewhere um right in between things but um anyways john non-married couples in idaho who engage in sexual intercourse can be jailed for up to six months not married couples yes so like four people like there needs to be two and two non-married wait non-married couples yeah non -married oh, oh, no. couples. no it's a one -on -one. Oh, 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 one -on one i see okay no, i had it confused and if idaho. you're not married and you, and engage, you have intercourse yes then you could go to jail for six months. For six months. Yes. Okay. Well, time for a history lesson, though. That's what this whole episode's been. So I hope you're already <laughs> you're, like, prepared for the whole history lesson. Idaho. 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 You know. Idaho. Mm -hmm. You Idaho. Idaho. Who Idaho? Idaho? Idaho. Idaho. Exactly. So, Idaho used to be called Washington Jr. Back I because... I thought it was Ida State. <laughs> get it? Keep going. No, yeah, that's what it was called. I accidentally, I was looking at... Um, I thought it was Washington or something. Jr. No, I was looking at Oregon for, by accident for oh, a little like, bit. I, I so I had it, okay. had it off a little bit. Uh, Idaho's actually gone through a lot of names. Yes. I, I the bad guy. I the good guy. I the, oh no, called the cops. I the... <laughs> uh, yep. Idaho's gone through a lot of names. Anyways, but 
recently it's been Idaho because Sarge is having this big, big problem. Isaac, yeah. when what is when you see someone and they're attractive and they're like, eh, what's like the first thing you notice? They're pearly whites. They're pearly whites, mm-hmm. and that's not an issue anywhere else in the whole planet. Literally nowhere else. Because no one has pearly whites. Nobody has pearly whites. They all have the British teeth. Yes, exactly. <laughs> poor, poor Britain. As if it's looking in the <laughs> I can't so, wait for the Britain dumb laws. <laughs> so it, we didn't really know this was going to be a problem or the governor. So the, the, this this whole governor trying to be elected to be the, the governor in Idaho is... It caused a lot of problems, as you can see. For, for, um, and so, first, remember, everyone had to smile. But then yes. suddenly, everyone got sad because the teeth were bad. So suddenly, everyone uh, up to the age of 14 need to brush their teeth. But really, secretly, they took away the white powder. Mm-hmm. And suddenly, they had really bright teeth. And it's like, finally, everyone's feeling really happy right now. Like, everyone's like really happy yeah, like, i look really so good happy. yeah exactly so he's like i'm gonna become president little did he know that suddenly if you walk on the streets what do you hear it's like everywhere you're walking all you hear is idaho 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 like it, uh-huh. it became a greeting oh, idaho and so anyone like passing by the state would be like, what the heck? Is, uh, did we make it to Idaho? And th- that's how the state became its name, just so we all are aware. Anyways, so all of a sudden, there just started being this big problem of intercourse everywhere. Man on man, man on gr- uh, woman, woman on man, woman on dogs, dogs on prisoners. Like, it was just not really good at all. It was Ooh, terrible... that, that is kind of... Kind of crazy. I won't blame. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was really bad. So the governor was like, "Man, the election day is literally tomorrow, and I just I can't win. I can't win." So he's no. like, "With one final act of the defiance to get his rightful position, he was like, okay, Idaho has only." About 100 couples, every uh, married people, like like no one marries in Idaho because of a, other dumb laws we probably won't get to in this episode. Anyway, so no one's married in Idaho besides 100 people, and he's like, if I make it where only that 100 people can have intercourse, and then everyone's gonna be happy, looking good, but they're not gonna be too distracted to vote. So he made it a law. I I see. That yep, makes perfect yeah. sense. It makes perfect sense. And that's why if you go to Idaho, people aren't saying Idaho all the time anymore because they can't be the hoe. They ain't the hoe. Nope. It's either celibate now. It's yeah, celibate. That's what they're about to change their name to. Um, next one is, you may not walk down the street with a red-tipped cane. Oh, I hate people that walk around streets with red-tipped canes. Yeah, so... Obviously. What does red symbolize, John? War, violence, evil, blood. Yes, and those who are in charge of that are always the royals, right? Yeah, exactly. Throughout history, like, the royals have been in charge and caused every war that's ever been. And so every war. The royalty, the color is red because of the blood that they want to soak. And yeah. mm-hmm. it is. it just became this violence. And, like, Idaho is the most American state in the Union. And they're like, you know, we don't want them royals, you know. So they banned red tip canes because people, especially rich people who wanted to associate themselves with royalty and with violence. And it became also a gangster thing. If, like, a gangster had a broken leg or something, they would use a red tip cane. People were using these red tip canes to symbolize that they have taken someone else's blood. Right, right. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. like, it's like it's like where when now we would just have teardrops tattooed on us in different places to represent you killed someone. Back then, you had the red tip mm-hmm. canes. And you know the best way to prevent <laughs> that kind of violence is get rid out, of it. Yeah, outlaw the symbol of it. That that, that, that really worked with alcohol, you know. Yeah, no, as that works. Like... 
and get rid of it we never had alcohol ever again and drugs and that works with like i mean there's a reason um shootings are illegal because now you don't have to worry about them anymore right exactly. and so like you just outlaw it so outlaw the it'd red be better it'd be better to uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay come on you, so just outlaw the red tipped canes and those people who were associated with that couldn't use the red tip canes anymore, and it took away the prestige of that, you know, a- attributes in life and that pre- you know that situation. Mm-hmm. So it just it just became unpopular anymore. And so outlawing the wait, red tip why cane. Why was there violence again? I I missed that part. Why was there violence again? It it just symbolized like the they were like gang members who have done violence in the past and whatnot. Oh, like the red tip cane where they like lost a leg, they would use a red tip cane to represent that. Yeah, I lost yeah. my leg in a gang leg in a gang war kind of thing. Right, right, right. So now I have a cane for my leg. They put the cane on. Yeah, the yeah. Well, or they would you know even with their hand, but it was just red tip, oh. and that, that was kind of just to symbolize like yeah, look, you don't mess with me because I am a red tip cane locker, and it be, it just be you know when they outlawed it. All gang stopped. All gang crime stopped. All you know, all of that just was over because you couldn't symbolize it anymore. I mean, it was just as successful as the Dare campaign in America. Mm-hmm. Just as successful. Yes, that's successful. I never see anyone with red tipped canes anymore. So exactly, and. I think that might be my new rapper name. Red tip cane. <laughs> I mean, it, it is kind of a sick rapper name. As long as you're not in Idaho, I think you're okay. Okay, phew. Thank goodness. How many How many more are there? We got two more. Okay, what? Well, shoot, shoot it at me. Okay. You can't buy or sell chickens after sundown without the sheriff's permission. Okay. So, buy or sell or just No, nope, buy, buy or sell chicken on sunday before sundown um no in any day of the week after any sundown day. wait what was it i thought you said something about sunday you can't buy or sell chickens after sundown without the sheriff's oh, permissions after sundown okay so it has to be before sundown okay unless you unless you get his permission then it's fine unless he gets permission yeah he never gives permission man i tried I asking it's, for him it's like so hard and I <laughs> so <laughs> Back in, um, you know, the sheriff times back like 1554, mm-hmm. when sheriffs were like just riding around with their cowboy hats. Yeah, and, the spaghetti western era. And the spaghetti western era. Mm-hmm. And so he's driving around. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Riding around. Okay, I was, riding. Gonna, I was about to like technologically check you. Unless you're talking yeah, no, about... No, 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 no. Again, sources down in description. Mm-hmm. You can fact check us. It's all true. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, Sheriff, he's like riding around town. and he's like the red pill stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> he has his red-tipped cane. You know uh-huh. why he's riding. Just yeah. going around. His, his red-tipped cane, though, man. You should have seen him, bro. It was so good. It was like red tip, but then even the tip. It was two... the greatest red tip that ever red tip. Like it was so spectacularly red tipped. Uh huh. And it was so huge. And yes. so the red tip came. So he's coming around town um, with his pistol too, but really no one was scared of the gun because he had the red tip cane. It was yeah. like the crazy one, you know. Yep. So he's riding around, and it, wait, what are they not allowed to sell eggs? Uh, no, uh, chickens. Chickens. Oh, okay, so it's on the right track. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, in defiance of the government in the 1500s, mm-hmm. they realized that chickens produce a lot of eggs. And, they yeah, they, they, they produce one a day. Okay, wow. so imagine this. You have a chicken. One day later, you get an egg. Yes. Two days later, you get another egg. Three days later, you get another egg. But then the first chicken hatches. Suddenly, the next day, you have two eggs. It just multiplies. And then it hatches again. They have three eggs. And then it hatches again. They have four eggs. And then 10 eggs. And then 20 eggs. And 100 eggs. 1,000. 100,000 easily. It's so basically starts... the first form of cookie clicker. Yeah, exactly. Chickens. So, 
the government um, at this time was corrupt with their uh-huh. red tipkins because you know that's a gangster thing. That's not that's not respectable. Yeah, that's a gangster thing. So the the government's corrupt of the red tip canes to show how many people they are willing to kill no matter what. Yeah. And so the the lowly poor people have to start figuring out a way to get past them. Um, the government they really like chicken. They really like chicken, how it tastes and everything. I don't so the, blame the, them. The, everything the people, tastes like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Well, why do you think everything tastes like chicken, Isaac? Because Idaho, Idaho made like millions and millions, so they had to start just slaughtering them all, and it just kind of left the scent. Uh, this everything. overlying like, scent on everything. Like, I it's see. Just, everything tastes like chicken. So the government was like, we want chicken. Give it to us now, or else we'll tap you with our red tip canes. And the people were like, oh, no, please don't tap me with your red tip canes. Well, please, please. So they started just making chickens, 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 giving so many chickens, 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 until suddenly there was just an overpopulation of chickens, just so many chickens. The, a lot of people started just dying left and right. The government started collapsing in on itself. Not because of money problems or anything, just because the chickens were eating at like the bottom of the houses and just collapsing yeah. down, you know. So, so this is their big bad wolf story. They'll hop and they'll puff and they'll chicken, <laughs> chicken the house down. I'll pick and I'll pick. <laughs> so, so the government was like, "Oh shoot, okay, 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 no more chicken sales after sundown because that's when chickens um lay the most eggs and." Um, yeah, so um, that started happening, but then it kind of killed business because that's when chickens lay eggs. So if chickens can't lay eggs before sundown, but they aren't allowed to sell chickens after sundown, and for some reason laying eggs is <laughs> something to do with this. Okay. Uh, they're like, no more chickens are coming. We're just... Because, cause, because, okay, your chicken lays an egg, but that doesn't mean it laid a chicken. It means it laid an egg. The only way to, you have to sell the egg, you have to get rid of the egg, trade it around before mm-hmm. sundown. Uh, I mean, after sundown, um, and then it'll become a chicken, but else the egg just dies out. Yeah, it's like you have to. Thing, cycle, you, you have to... your chicken has the egg. You have to grab the egg. You have to give it to another person at sundown, and then suddenly it will become a chicken. Yeah, That's how chickens work. That makes sense. So, so the government was like, no more of that. No more of that because we have an overpopulation. Chickens start dying left and right because they didn't have anything to eat or breed. So we, everything started to taste like chicken. But then the opposite problem happened where there was no chickens. There was like hardly any. So the sheriff was like, fine, okay, you could get my permission to have chickens after sundown. Trade them around. And they're like, deal. So that's just kind of... And also... Well, no, nah, never mind. Yeah, that, that's it. Sounds like a very important job the sheriff had right there. Oh, it was. every His job went from using his red tip cane every single day to just signing papers of, yes, you can have chickens, no, you can't have chickens, and it just did that until he died. From I mean, it makes 20... sense why the sheriff no longer needed the red tip cane. Might as well outlaw, right? Right, exactly, yeah. Okay, the last one. This is our last law that we have to tell you why it is not dumb, okay? Mm-hmm. Dirt may not be swept from one's house into the streets. Did a, did a woman write this? <laughs> so the reason is, what has been the overarching theme about this series, or this, this episode, John, in Idaho in general? Episode. White teeth, I don't know. Exactly. Pristineness. Prestige. Pristine. Mm-hmm. Idaho wants to be seen as like the pristine capital of the world. I mean, we all make our um, jokes about Britain teeth, but that's because we are all within that radius, that radial arc of Idaho that's keeping everyone's teeth in check, even if they're not brushing their teeth uh-huh. with you know, the white powder. Mm-hmm. Whatever. We're still within that radius that is like an aura. You know, you still get the effects of it. And is, so is Idaho and Great Britain like opposite of each other? Yes, yeah, that's like the opposite side of the world. Obviously, yeah. I mean, that's why they say like everything is upside down in Great Britain, right? <laughs> yeah, that's where they say that. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely where they say that. <laughs> um. Anyways, and so everything is so pristine in Idaho, but the problem is, in order to make your house pristine, people were like, "I gotta, 
I we can't have that dirt in my house. I've got to be pristine. We ended up like your teeth. The movie stars coming out from it. The other stars that we cannot name coming out from it. Everything coming out from Idaho created an issue where people were trying to look so pristine that they were like not paying attention to the world around them, and they like started sweeping their house like dirt and stuff into the into the street. Like you know what, the streets are always dirty. That's okay, right? It's okay. But the people who put these laws in place that made this pristine image happen was the government. And do you really think that they would be okay with? people's filth entering their streets no no that's terrible i want to watch yeah that. i mean there's there's a reason idaho is 100 percent electric they can't let like any filth enter their yeah. streets. yeah yeah um and, and that's why i hate driving to i so i never visit idaho because my gas car just i well i get halfway through idaho and then while well, i'm stuck pulled, there yeah you get pulled over there's probably yeah it's mm-hmm. so, such a pain and so the government um just made it illegal to sweep your house dirt into the streets you have to actually like tidy it up throw it in a bag put it in a specialized trash bin that is not seen from the streets in order yeah, exactly. to actually clean your house because yeah you know you can't have that filth out outside and also just a little side note mm-hmm. um idaho doesn't have any land dumps or anything for trash they actually take all of their trash from the whole place and they go straight down to colorado and they're like here yeah. you go and they toss it over to them and then they go back to their state so there's no trash whatsoever. yeah no they export it they also i mean they've got the electric cars but they can't be producing that electricity in idaho so it's either solar panels or again colorado imports all their electricity yeah mm-hmm Anyways, I ho- I hope you guys feel more educated now that you've seen the ten dumbest dumbest laws in Idaho. They're dumbest, yeah, these are not dumb. Come on, we need these. Yes, honestly, the rest of the world should adopt these. Mm-hmm. It, it yeah, just, I don't want people just sweeping. Think about the teeth in the whole world if these were adopted, especially Great Britain. Like, come exactly. on, guys. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Random bits of randomness. Peace.